values are a cornerstone of FLL. And because of this, we're going to talk about them in this video and how we approach them and how we utilize them on our teams. So first off, it's important to define what the core values are. It's important to uh, have examples that back these up. I oftentimes find that it's useful if the students can you know, try to say what they've seen in the past that exemplify these core values. And then it's good to have the students memorize these core values. We want them to know it, like really understand them. And so you can ask the students to you know, memorize them and then you can come back and like sort of quiz them and talk to them about these core values and about what they mean. The best way to, to learn the core values is through practice. And because of this, we provide opportunities for the students to practice these core values through hands-on activities that you see in the core values interview. So we get these activities from past core values or from like Odyssey, the mind, spontaneous activities. And these include things like uh, putting, the putting a towel down on the ground and having the team uh, try to flip the towel over without um, without stepping off of the towel. And this is good because it can help you know, bond the team and also help them understand what these kind of activities are like. We have our mentors point out good behavior, or the core values we see the students embody. As we start to call out the core values, and when we see the students embodying those, the students themselves will start to notice when they're using them. Have the students call out the good behaviors within the teams as well, so they can start to recognize and encourage the other team members. As they start to recognize the core values more and more within their own behaviors, they'll recognize the importance of the core values. You can have the students at the beginning of meetings say how they've noticed core values throughout their daily lives. This will help them bring the core values from FLL into the real world. It's also equally important to call out when students are not embodying the core values. For example, if a team member is hogging the robot or only building on the robot and not letting any other friends or other students work on the robot, you can say you're not embodying inclusion. Please let everyone else around you help. Recognizing when they're not embodying the core values is equally as important as recognizing the good behaviors. Having the student captains help you with this where they call it the good behavior and bad behavior and when they're embodying the core values helps the student captains uh, unify the team and helps the team recognize core values as a whole. The discovery core value is about exploring new skills and ideas. In general, it's difficult to learn new skills during the season as it is fast paced and there are a lot of different things going on. While students often learn a lot during the competition season, it's mainly a time for them to implement their skills, to show off what they can do. So at Upper Creek Robotics, we provide our students the opportunity to learn and develop new skills before the season starts. At these meetings, we give students fun design and programming challenges. We ask them to compare and build different types of robots. Learning doesn't have to stop just because we're not competing. As I touched on before, discovery is also about uncovering ideas that are new to you. At Upper Creek, we encourage the students on our teams to conduct thorough research for both their projects and their robots. We put an emphasis on research because it is the heart and soul of discovery. Before the students can solve problems, they must first discover more about the issue at hand by asking the questions, what is the problem? And what solutions currently exist? Only after those questions are answered can they ask, is there a better way to solve the issue? The innovation core value is all about solving problems through creativity and persistence. Throughout our meetings, we encourage innovation by allowing students to come up with ideas individually, then combine and refine their ideas as a group. On FLL teams, it can be easy for the loudest voices to be the only ones heard, but every student on a team has ideas. If there is an environment where all ideas can be shared, it will not only foster innovation on an individual level, but help the entire team solve problems more effectively. One way we do this on our teams is with the Innovation Project. The Innovation Project consists of a problem which teams must solve in a novel way. The way we approach the Innovation Project with our teams is allowing our students to research the problem and explore previous solutions individually. 
We then guide the teams to a big group discussion in which they share their ideas and use them to come up with a solution for their team's innovation project. This method allows students to innovate both individually and as part of a larger group. Early kids are encouraged to practice core values. One of the many core values that they practice is impact. Impact in Lego League is a way of allowing the kids to take on challenges around the world. Every year, Lego League releases a theme. Kids try to develop their experience on impact by analyzing and researching current problems around the world. And at Upper Creek, the kids research, research and create solutions to improve the world. When people use this core value, it develops a problem-solving mechanic in the mind that can be used for other situations. Every student comes up with an idea, and within teams, they choose one idea that best solves a problem. One problem was trying to solve water access in Africa. The, certain, the solution was to make a water slide to direct water towards nearby villages. Inclusion means every person, no matter what they're like, has an important place on the team. We are all different, and each of our differences can make our team succeed. Nobody should be pushed out from the team because of their differences, since everybody brings something valuable to First Lego League. By including everyone on the team, new ideas can be thought of, and everyone on the team will have more fun. To make sure inclusion is occurring, we must make sure that no student is going off and doing their own thing, and we must make sure that everyone feels comfortable within their team. By bringing together kids from different backgrounds, they can have new experiences with people they might not interact with outside of First Lego League. By including people of different backgrounds on a team, all the people give new perspectives for ideas that help them accomplish their goals. One big part of inclusion is respect. In order to be successful, teams must be respectful of others' differences. By respecting one another, the teams can become more successful rather than them arguing about how things should be done and what is the right way to do them. Respect and inclusion also applies to competitions. Teams can offer to help others because they might have things to share, and when things don't work out for other teams and some things go well for other teams, both must be respectful towards each other, practicing gracious professionalism and cooperation, which are the core pillars on what FIRST is founded upon and applies to all levels. Fun! At the end of the day, it's important that our students are having fun. Here at Upper Creek Robotics, we create a fun learning environment by remembering to celebrate the important things, which includes both the students' successes and their failures. It's important to celebrate failure because it helps students understand that figuring out what doesn't work is an integral part of your journey toward the solution. At Upper Creek, we understand that while winning is amazing, the knowledge you gain and the relationships you build during your time in FLL are far more valuable which means that being on a team is a lot more fun when you're working with your friends. We help students build better relationships with their teammates through weekly core value activities and chores, such as vacuuming the floor and stacking the chairs. These activities promote team unity because they provide a different kind of opportunity for students to work together, aside from working on their robot and their research project.